Hello. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. Is anybody glad that it's Friday? Woohoo! <laughs> we made it through another week. Isn't that awesome? I'm just going to have a quick look at the chat here, see how things are going. Please let me know if you're watching now. And if you're coming on later, hit hashtag replay. Uh, I would love to hear how it's going for you. So yeah, um, let me just see where things are at. Make sure that uh, we're actually live on Facebook. It's always a good thing to check. And yes, we are live. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so if you're just watching guys, just uh, pop on, say hello, let me know you're here. Hi, Melissa, great to have you. Excellent. Okay, so just a reminder that you still have time to participate in our challenge. We are just a few days away. So we have two more days after today left to do for our 21 day challenge. You guys, this is amazing. So for those who have been participating, I know it's a big um, commitment, so thank you. I'm sure your body and your brain also thanks you. So keep up the good work. And I see Lisa's on here. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hope you're having a better day today. Hope all is well. And uh, we're just going to get right into it. And so we're going to do the cortices technique. And for those who are new, please go back to day eight or day 15 or the very beginning, the first few days. I go over all the details of the cortices technique, how amazing it is, how it's brought people out of comas. We've had amazing testimonials over the last several days and uh, including uh, decreases in migraines, sinus problems, um, headaches, uh, emotional regulation, more clarity of mind, less foggy brain syndrome. I think most of us can relate to that. You wake up in the morning and you feel kind of foggy. Well, do the cortices. It's really great for that. And it's great for sleep and everything. So go back and have a watch of uh, day eight or day 15, and you'll get some more uh, clarity on how it will help you. So let's go for it today. So we're going to have our, our one hand here, and that's going to go on the occipital lobe. So the very base of the skull, and you want to make sure that hand is closed. And then we're just going to tap over the right and left brain hemispheres. And we're going to take some nice deep breaths. Breathing is super important. So if you're just coming on, please say hello. Let me know you're here and I'll do my best to say hi to you. And if you're watching later, hit hashtag replay. All right, we're tapping over the heart. And again, when we're tapping on the brain, we're asking the brain to fix and facilitate the changes. And then we ask the heart to store the information. And now we're going to tap over the navel, which asks the enteric brain or the gut brain to assimilate and integrate the changes. There's actually been quite a bit of study done on both the brain, the heart as a brain and the gut as a brain. So, well, the whole digestive system actually, but yeah, it's quite fascinating. So if you're ever interested, let me know. I'd be happy to chat further with you. So now we're just going to caterpillar up one caterpillar. Okay. I just like the word caterpillar. <laughs> All right. Just tap on the brain and just see, you know, what we're focusing on really is that our brain is reestablishing good communication, good connections within the left and right hemispheres. Nice deep breaths, at least two to three breaths per hand movement. When we do the movement on the head with the other hand, over the heart and then oh it feels good to breathe <laughs> to be more aware and more mindful of our breath hey and now over the navel and then we're just going to bring that hand up one again like a crazy habit trying to get my hair out of my face. <laughs> I don't know why I try because you know we're just gonna make a mess of it anyway. That's okay though, it's totally worth it. Nice deep breaths. And now over the 
heart. And over the navel. And people are yawning. I've been getting reports from people yawning. <laughs> I see more here today, so that's great. That's good. It means your body is responding faster to uh, to the cortices technique. So that's the amazing thing is that when you, the more often you do it, the quicker your body will begin to respond to what you're doing. It can take some time for things to kind of really start moving. And uh, it doesn't mean that nothing's happening if you're not yawning or whatever, you know, but today, like I was doing a whole access routine, which is five standard techniques now over the navel. And uh, I was yawning, I was teary, my sinuses, like my nose started to run. Those are all signs of the body just releasing and getting rid of stuff. If you have immune system issues, come talk to me. We can deal with some of that stuff for sure. Okay, and then just right down to the eyebrows. Our body's immune system is the best line of defense for us. So if we can keep our immune system strong, then that is fabulous. So, yes. Nice deep breaths. You're doing great. Tell me how your day was after this. Pop on and let me know. How was your day? Do you have any questions? We're coming to a close here really soon. Are you tired of seeing me on Facebook? <laughs> tap over the navel. I'm sorry to those who keep getting all these invites, you know, to join us, but this is kind of what it's all about. It's about helping us become well and, and hopefully more in a natural, with a natural approach, right? So, okay. So now we're just going to tap over the sides. So you're going to hold the sides. Remember sort of thumb is on the ear, index fingers just over the ear. And then the base of your hands right in the laugh line temple area. Hold that for just a couple seconds. And then you're going to take one hand off and you're going to tap. And all we're doing when we're holding our hands on the different parts of the brain is we're just asking the body and the brain to focus on that particular area. So that is what is really, really important here. So we're reestablishing really good connection within the brain and therefore that's going to help the body as well. Good for the brain is good for the body. I don't know if that's a saying, but maybe we should make it a new saying. <laughs> and nice deep breaths. Over the navel. And then other hand up back where it was before and just hold that for just a moment. We're asking the brain to focus on that and then take this hand off and nice deep breaths. Are you noticing a shift? Are you noticing sort of your whole body, everything kind of becomes a little more calm? I definitely notice that. It's good for the nervous system. Our bodies and our brains need to know that it's safe. We can relax. Okay, and that's it. And just because I can't help myself, I'm just gonna like make my hair like really messy because like, you know, I want to touch it like all the time and like, you know, how amazing and fun this is. So if you're there and you rustling up your hair, you know, because it's just so much fun, then please feel free to join me and I will see you guys tomorrow for the second last day. Have a good night, everybody. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. And uh, we will see you tomorrow, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Take care. Bye for now.